I had had no idea about her being transferred. But I recalled the lady psychiatrist's name that Dr. V mentioned in his letter. I had never spoken to her or met her. I had only received correspondence from her. The Pembroke staff had actively pursued a hate campaign against me. They had cried out to this lady psychiatrist asking her to detain me. She had refused in a letter to Pembroke staff saying she did not feel it was appropriate to section me. This letter was copied to me. I did not hear from this lady psychiatrist after 2010, and it was now, 2012. I vaguely recalled how she said she was planning to fix me up via her woman team in 2010. In the UK, they take fast action against anyone that says they want to punish anyone. I mean, she did not section me unnecessarily, just because it was requested by a hate mob. I did not complain about her, nor was there any reason. My complaint was about Pembroke men kicking the door. I did not hear of her after 2011, but the Pembroke wrote letters offering me appointments with 20 to 30 different psychiatrists in the years that followed. In the years that followed, the Pembroke were pretending and maintaining false records alleging that I was under this lady psychiatrist's treatment as well. I guess she was not even there. British folks would be scandalized if they knew I simply ignored those 20 to 30 invitations by the Pembroke to meet various different psychiatrists over the years that followed. I had made copious complaint emails to NHS in 2010 and 2011 that Pembroke were pursuing an unwilling party, etc. In 2010, a character called Lynn Jones from the Pembroke had been writing to the UKBA and petitioning for my deportation. I had no idea about this and had met her only once, briefly in 2010 and after that did not attend Pembroke again. I had felt she was a nasty. She had asked to be treated as a doctor. I had replied that she did not have the knowledge of a doctor. I walked out and did not see her again. This made her mad. She then wrote a letter to that lady psychiatrist accusing me of saying psychiatrists are stupid. I did not know about Lynn Jones' campaign to deport me until recently, in 2023, when I made a subject access request to the Home Office. They have kindly supplied all the info 4,000 pages of which I have until now only read 20 pages. While I got some sympathy from medical complaints, the Pembroke were unstoppable. I guess the Pembroke were the primary aggressors and kept inviting me to see various psychiatrists, in the hope of getting me sectioned. Since the GPs I was registered with or these psychiatrists who visited the Pembroke from time to time were not interested in seeing me, the Pembroke could do nothing to force me. The problem was the Pembroke were not classified as medical, and could not be disciplined by a medical department. In 2013, during my proceedings at Basingstoke Magistrates, I was told Pembroke testified to the magistrates that I told them this and that. But I had never been willing to even speak to them who came around all the time and wrote persistent mail. This hate pursuit by Pembroke as early as 2010 will explain why Pembroke is supposed to have lied, I told them this and that, to Basingstoke magistrates in support of what I allege was a trumped-up conviction by my sister Vidju Wortley. I allege she was trying to deport me by boarding a plane straight from the Basingstoke magistrates. But the legal machinery uses due process, and nobody can be put on a plane, instantly, at the behest of someone who says negative things about them. I still do not know the full details and interrelationships of this intrigue. After my conviction, I questioned a Pembroke character, whose name was Jay, in an interview around the end of 2014, as to how come Pembroke alleges I told them this and that. She answered, we are mental health, and we can do anything we like. During our interview, around the end of 2014, this character whose name was Jay, spoke with relish about my deportation, which had by this time been in progress for some years. On one occasion, I had consulted a mental health lawyer about what to do when Pembroke shot off a threatening letter in 2015. This letter had threatened that unless I presented to a woman worker of Pembroke, I was wanted for criminal prosecution at Utterford Magistrates. The mental health lawyer, Mr. Jonathan Pierce had advised that these were probably empty threats and to have no contact with Pembroke staff. He said mental health staff were notorious for telling lies. Don't speak to them and no worries, he said. The Pembroke had a race hate towards me, based on me being more qualified and a member of a higher social class. 
There was also a sex angle to it, as the character called Jay from Pembroke got my partner's mobile and called him on the weekend in 2015 alleging that I was mad and he should give me up and hand me over to them women.